Okay, a little project this evening here Kevin and I are working on. We're pulling the axles, I'm sorry, we're pulling the hubs off the axle, checking the wheel bearings and checking the brakes. What transpired me to want to do this, a buddy of mine was hauling his 1066 on his trailer, going down the interstate, one of the axles, one of the hubs, bearing went out of it, it locked up, was dragging the tire down the interstate until we got off the road. Ended up bending the axle, twisting it. Now I got to buy a whole new axle and stuff. And I thought, you know, it's been two years since I looked at these. So it's time to look at them. So I got this one. I did the first two. I got this one apart. So I'm going to set you up here with Kevin. Kevin's going to be my holder man. And we'll get you right there and we'll pull that one apart and see what's going on. First thing I was checking for was the tightness of this nut. These were loose, just barely finger tight. They need to be tighter than that. There is a torque spec on those. I don't know what that torque number is. So I'm just going to set them the, the redneck old-fashioned way. Just snug them good and tight so I can line the keeper up, and that's where it's going to be. But first, it's going to take it off, check inside, make sure there's plenty of grease, which this seems to have lots of grease. In it. Not. War sure the auto bearing. Yeah, there's lots of grease in there. Lots of grease on that bearing. And then on the inside. Okay. Alright, the seal's not leaking. It's good and dry in here. Still got good good brake shoe. Still got good drum, no marks on the drum, the seal's not leaking, the steel seal's in place. There's lots, yeah, lots of good grease in here. So this is in fine shape, ready to go back together. So, now you see one of the features, I think this is a red line axle. One of the features on this axle, when I built this trailer and I bought the axles, there's a grease fitting on the end that comes out here in the center and greases these bearings, which is a pretty nice feature, provided you watch how much grease you put in there. You put too much grease in there, you can push the seal out of the back of it, and then you end up having grease all over your brakes, and then your brakes don't work. Just a mess to clean up. But, this one is in good shape, so we're going back together. The bearing, the washer, and then the nut. I didn't look when I took this off. I don't know if there's an inside or an outside to this nut. Doesn't appear to be. Caught picking slippery, can't hold it to get started on there. There it goes. So there it is, finger tight. Now, again, the old redneck ways just get her good and snug to where you can get the keeper to line up. I always spin them as I'm tightening it so that the bearing will seat. And just good and snug. That's that's more than little more than finger tight. And these are real nice keepers that they have on there. Instead of having a carter pin drilled through, these are a real nice keeper. I like these a lot. You just have to get the nut lined up in a, in the right position. To get the, to go in there, which I need a little bit more. If he could get on. What do you mean if? Huh? What's this if stuff? Huh? What's this if stuff? 
Have you ever known me not to be able to fix something? No, huh? No. Always get it fixed. Might take a while, but always get it fixed. So. A little more snugness here. There it goes. And that's the keeper. Keeps it in place. And then the dust cap. Of course you can see lots of grease inside that dust cap, which is as the wheel spins around, it pushes the grease out and it rotates back into the center, then pushes out again by centrifugal force. So that's what keeps the bearings lubricated. to checking the bearings and stuff so far the bearings have all been in good shape I'm very pleased with it so we'll put it back together go to the other side do the same thing tomorrow night we'll work on a tractor a little bit get it ready to go pulling and Friday night look out here we come going tractor pulling okay checking the wheel bearings on the trailer axle Hope this gives you a little bit of idea if you're everything you're doing this yourself. You want to look at it, try it yourself. No big deal. Just a slightest bit of mechanical ability you can do this. So that's it. Thanks for watching.